Hey, this is Flo and in this video I'm showing you how to use the camera for keyboard input or in other words how to add a live text supporting text field in your Swift UI app. There is a whole WWDC talk on this. If you want to watch it, there is a link in the video description. I highly recommend you to watch any of the WWDC videos that you might find interesting based on the title. Other than that, let's get right into it. If you enjoy my type of content, please make sure to subscribe, hit the like button and let's go. Today I've actually made things really easy for us, I just created a package. The thing is that the capture text from camera is only supported in UIKit natively, so this is just a very easy wrapper around it for SwiftUI. As you can see here in the installation instructions, you just need to copy the GitHub URL, then go over to Xcode, go into your project settings, select your target, and then under Frameworks, Libraries, and Embedded Content, hit the plus, and in this little drop-down, add package dependency. Then just paste in the GitHub URL in this little search field here. Okay, you can leave all of these dependency rules as they are, just make sure to have up to next major version, or just select the main branch, doesn't really make a, a lot of a difference. There's also a little usage example in the README, which you can also find over here on GitHub if you want some syntax highlighting, but it's very easy to use. Let me just show you how it works. So let's hit Add Package, make sure to select the correct target, hit Add Package again, and then we're good to go. Okay, so this is a very basic SwiftUI app. So first of all, we need to import the package. It's called Scan Text Field, just like that. And then you actually use a very similar to a usual SwiftUI text field, so you just say scan text field, open parentheses, the initializer is basically the same, so the first string is the placeholder, so let's just say enter name as the placeholder, and then you need a binding to a string for your actual yeah, text field content, so let's create a state var text, and let's initialize it with an empty string. Let's also make it private, just for good practice. And then just provide the binding here using the dollar sign, just like that. Okay, then let's style this just a little bit. So let's add a tiny bit of padding, let's say like 8. Then let's constrain the height of this to, let's say, 30. Let's give it a background of gray, but with a little bit of a lower opacity, basically to brighten up the color. Then let's give it a little bit more padding outside of the text. And before that, let's say corner radius of 10. Now if we resume the preview using command option P, then let's see what happens. Okay, there's our text field. If we hit the play button, then in the beginning this behaves like a normal text field, so you can just tap in there and enter some text with your keyboard but there is a button tied to the keyboard toolbar that you can press and then the camera feed will open up and the user can use the live text feature. Unfortunately, this of course doesn't work in the simulator and of course also not in the preview, but if you run this on a real device, then you will have no issues whatsoever. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed this little video and this package. Feel free to use it in your projects. That's it from me. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like it Write a comment down below with any future video ideas and subscribe to the channel for more easy tutorials like this one. That's it. See you in the next one. Bye.